Welcome to another episode of The Adventures of Danny and Mike, wherein the fellas discuss double dribble, spider coffins, and push-button dispensers. All that and special guest Arthur Meyer. Now play the music, Birdie. seafaring people or um i i don't my uh well actually you know what now that i think about it i do my my dad's father was in the navy uh i guess that's exactly the definition of seafaring you have navy (laughs) wait you have navy grandpa i have navy grandpa i have navy grandpa Navy grandpa yeah my great my navy grandpa was in the korean war oh man mine was just in uh crummy old world war ii so you're just saying you have an older I have one that was in World War Two, but he was an army guy who was using the guns on the boat. So oh, he wouldn't yeah. he wasn't navy, but he was Wait, he, they had guns he on shot, boats. He shot at the They had navy. guns on boats. Can you believe that back That's, in the day? I didn't know I never knew they had guns on I I just thought they had cannons on boats, but that guns on boat like yeah. Yeah. Boats oh, yeah. didn't right. necessitate guns. Yeah. Uh, I it also, depends on how big the well, bullets let alone an entire rack. Oh yeah. Wow, nice. <laughs> Wayne's World reference. Yeah. Uh, that's the first one. Welcome to the Adventures of Danny and Mike. To my right, Mr. Danny Tamborelli drinking seltzer. Thank you. Yes. Got you. It's polar. And to his right, Mr. Michael C. Morona. I'm also drink also drinking seltzer. seltzer. And our guest for the entire hour, Mr. Arthur Meyer. Thanks so much for hanging out. Hi, Arthur. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Michael and Danny. Thank uh, yeah. you for you coming guys. out on this, uh, this rainy this day. rainy evening. It's very nice. You, very cozy You're evening. a New Yorker? Uh, I'm originally from Chicago. I've been living in New York for like 11 years. Are there pickles better here or in Chicago? <laughs> the ones I've had here, particularly McClure's pickles. Okay. Um, I like McClure's Oh, yeah. Pickles. How about hot dogs? Excellent. Hot dogs, Hot dogs. I would say, are better in Chicago. Or pizza. That's a good, that's See, a good that, one. I don't think I, that question can be asked anymore because yeah, it's just yeah. two different things. Well, I just kind of think all pizza is really good. Yeah, I, I've agreed. never, I've you don't never look had like it. you think all pizza is really good. You look <laughs> handsome and healthy. <laughs> no. Wait, well, yeah. you can tell Mike's type. He doesn't like big people. <laughs> doesn't dude, like I pizza. love, dude, what I the love fuck pizza. Was that? <laughs> dude, I love pizza. <laughs> he is the pizza king. Yeah. I am the king of pizza. What are you talking about? And I look more, I look more like I love pizza than you do because I'm right bigger now, than you are. Right now, you're in, you're having absorbed Android 18. You're in your Pomodoro Natale form, oh the Christmas, my. the Christmas tomato. And when you might, you might re- reach your final form on the 25th of December. Wow, you split open. I got 20 more days of swelling. Boy, oh boy, can't wait for that. <laughs> we'll keep you updated, Arthur. Check my Instagram. I think you look like you enjoy. Pizza as an average amount. As a recreational Thank sport, you. am Thank I right? Thank you so much, yeah. Arthur. <laughs> God, that's, that's very nice of I you. I enjoy yeah. pizza as a, um, I enjoy it as a car fuel. I enjoy it as a sexual lubricant. Wow. I enjoy it as a dessert topping. I enjoy it as a, a baby diaper rash cure. I, en- oh, I I could use it for everything. A mattress insulator. Uh, uh, it's we enjoy them together. Air conditioner, cool down slice. Air conditioner coolant. Yes, the legend of the cool down slice and the warm up slice. The cool. What is that? The cool down slice and the warm up. Yeah, like if you're walking somewhere and you know you're gonna eat something, or maybe on the way home, mm-hmm. you know you might have not eaten enough. Yeah, yeah. But it goes further. It could also be, hey, I'm bored and I'm gonna go walk for a mile and a half down Fifth Avenue in Park Slope and see how many. Slice of pizza I can hit. You know, if I keep walking down the street, I'm going to get tired. And why not stop in and try someone's plain slice and really get a good. This sounds like a. Get a really good idea of what like the pizza, pizza shop is all about, right? This sounds like a pizza crawl. You, you don't want to go to the. You don't want to go to like the Bacon Ranch slice or like, you know, you need. If you're just going into a random pizza place, you got to try there. You get the plain, plain slice. slice. You, you, you go That's to the how Thai you restaurant. Judge everything. You get the pad Thai when you, you go to the Thai restaurant. Right. The Bacon Ranch. That sounds like a place you go to in the sky when you die. <laughs> some people, if you're some. lucky enough. <laughs> yeah, some I pig. would not because I haven't eaten bacon in about 10 years. Some pigs, years. if they're lucky. No, you eat shock pieces of bacon every so I often. I do. Once they in a while, I'll, I, haven't, I don't eat meat. I haven't eaten meat in a long time. But what, there is once in a while where I'll go home and the nieces or nephews or Danny always wants to be shocked, but I never do it. I'm gonna because make, he said yeah. he's expressed uh-huh. interest in liking the idea, so I'm like, nah. I'm, I'm going to make a bang in venison chili and make and make him have some <laughs> a venison uh, a goat chorizo chili or a venison. Did chili. you see Arby's was making venison sandwiches? 
No. Yes. yes. Arby's Arby's had a whole ad for venison, thick cut it, venison it's like, sandwiches. It's like eighty, at least eighty six percent deer, no more than fifteen percent lead content. There's, can't be all deer. <laughs> were, they, were they advertising it as Arby's has venison? National yeah. commercial. Like, like, yeah, like, we go, have all the We meats have now. the deer. <laughs> we, we have, have the, the deers. Do they go on the street and shoot a commercial where a bunch of regular people are going, I want venison? No, but they should have. This one yeah. was more, more of the, um, what's you his should name? Do, you should do advertising. That is a genius... What's his name? Give me venison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah. bunch of Vox Pops. I Venison's love it. my medicine. <laughs> Vin See? Diesel. There you go. Who yeah. does the ads? Oh, that's pretty good, Vin Diesel. Who does the ads for those? Uh, Vin Rames. Vin Rames. Oh, yeah, Vin Rames. 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 Rest in peace. Is he dead? 2017. Oh, he had, he had, the, he had all the meats. It's Vin not Rames, Rames did Ar- Arby's ads, are you saying? He's, he does all of them. He had all the meats. We have the meat. He oh, got paid in meats. He got paid in meats until he died. I think we did this once and it was not him, but I'm going to fact check. First fact check of the day. Was it John Goodman? <laughs> or did he do America Runs on Duncan? He does, oh, yes. he does America, America War, Runs on, on he, he does that does and he? he does Buffalo Wild Wings, too. That's He does? And wow. he does it, yeah. We got we did a we did a podcast on Sunday and we we chatted just briefly about the fact that there's no reason for a list celebrities to be doing commercials. They're taking it. They're taking yeah. work they're taking from the, good. They're from taking good the good people. common yeah. actor jobs away. <laughs> I'm torn. I'm torn because I uh-huh. think uh, the secret of Nim was was like a. A harbinger in this area because there was like some celebrity actors in there. Derek Jacoby, uh-huh. Edie McClurg, your favorite um, older Irish woman character actor, like the matronly. You remember her? Ferris she, Bueller's Day Off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. So there, there's like a few different um, like name actors in there. Uh, Dom DeLuise plays the sure. crow, you uh-huh. know, Mrs. Frizz, you know, and, mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So Ving I'm, Rames. I'm torn. It was the Vin Graham's. I told you. He's not dead. He's dead because of the meats. He's dead because of the meats. He wasn't on that plane with yeah, the hummus. Yeah. In there. <laughs> I, I hope you're getting hip to it, Arthur, that Mike's just, he spits a lot of bullshit. Well, you know, he's got, you got a creative got mind. A, I like that. What? My relationship mind? with Danny is wonderful. I don't know what Yo, you're what, talking what about. Is, so, like, I, now, you guys go back pretty far, right? Uh, we're older than dirt. Seven, yeah. seven and 11 we met. You, Almost back do little Joe. And we never gotten any money from 7-Eleven to make that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we met in the 80s. That's how old we are. Has your relationship changed uh, in that time, would you say? I or? think I've always been the top. I don't see him yeah. naked anymore. Yeah. Have you seen each other naked? <laughs> well, when we were kids, you know, doing the, you don't the show. A, yeah, you don't get a chance. The wardrobe, choice. You the don't wardrobe choice. room back in the, you know, when they were doing little vignettes of in course. between commercials and Nickelodeon. Uh, they we, we're not. They, we didn't have our own wardrobe room, is what I'm saying. We've and, uh, traveled so long for Nickelodeon that we've had time to see each other get strip searched while making appearances. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we've. That's how long we've been working together, yeah. Arthur. So you guys have shared many secrets together. Wow, we've, yeah. we've definitely shared some secrets. Yeah, we've shared secrets. We've shared bottles of rosé. Uh, what else can I say? Songs. We Taxi we rides. shared we shared in uh, scaring a comedian friend on the way to SF Sketchfest to the point where he got he had to get hassled by the TSA afterwards because <laughs> he made <laughs> he made too many awkward Jokes. movements. Yeah. Was it drug related? <laughs> no, no. I wish it was. Which, who who which comedian? Yeah, yeah let's uh, have Jim Tews. Oh, did we do that to him? Yeah, he was coming up. We had already gone through security, mm-hmm. and he was walking through security, and we. I just banged on the plexiglass, with them. Oh my God. Uh-huh. and he like jumped while like you know whatever. And TSA sir, saw it. It's, it's, like sir, it's called like, additional scrutiny, yeah. and <laughs> you're about to meet it. Uh, <laughs> so we we had to apologize. Good thing we flew Virgin, so we could you know uh, send him a drink. Uh, and for, you can do that for the list. Complimentary. Oh, you drink. can do that. On Virgin? Yeah, send someone a drink. You can also yeah. send people un you know unwanted text messages. True. Which yeah, I, I mean, think is a flaw in the in the Virgin seat to seat communication. Oh, that's right. You can, but Jim, yeah. for the listener, mm-hmm. had a mustache at the time, so he was probably asking for it to get hassled. <laughs> oh too, yeah, so. <laughs> deserved it. <laughs> you, you have to cultivate an inoffensive appearance if you don't want to get strips. Oh merch. God, you got to <laughs> you know? take the um, take the like fish hook yeah. out of your your Oakland A's hat. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if you're looking like Raleigh fingers, <laughs> you're getting <laughs> pat down, <laughs> friend. 
Yeah. <laughs> you come you come in looking like you're you're entering the game yeah. in the ninth. Dennis, inning. yeah, Dennis Eckersley with the with the grease yeah. smear on your back pocket. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Have you have you done it ever? Still, really? that still that still hurts yeah, you. Still sore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yes, you do a lot. Of, you do a lot of characters. You, you work on uh, the Tonight Show. Yes, I work on the Tonight Show. And so, have you ever done a, a Raleigh Fingers? I like, haven't you done. Maybe I've, think about. I've done Pete Rose. I've never done oh. Raleigh Fingers. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, for the for the listener. That's that's one of my favorite I, baseball Pete, players. Pete Rose is my favorite baseball really? player. Really? Well, well, because he's the best and the ugliest baseball player <laughs> at the same time. But did time. not care nice. what you thought. Yeah, yeah. he's yeah. the Ronaldinho of baseball. Who's you, r- wait, who's Ronald? Jeremy, fact check number two. <sighs> bring up the big, bring up the image. Bring it up on the big screen so Arthur can see. I don't know if that's accurate. I think Ronaldinho. I think people think he's pretty. Uh, he's a pretty attractive think, soccer player. Oh, 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 this this dude. This yeah, guy, this, this but he's not on. the same thing as Pete Rose and that bulbous nose of his. No, bring oh, yeah. it up. Bring oh, up yeah. Ronaldinho. What an ugly Full dude. screen. Yeah. Full screen. But I respect the, the shit out of him. There he is on the right hand side. Yeah, yeah. Full oh, is that right. the guy who just got the statue or something? No, no, no that's uh, Ronaldo. That's oh, Cristiano okay. Ronaldo. Yeah, he got a messed up statue. Anyway, that's Ronaldinho. Huh. I think he's the most. I think he's like the Otis Nixon of uh, <laughs> of of soccer. Otis Nixon, the twenty eight year old, eighty two year old. Yeah, he could. Yeah, he really had reverse. He really looked button, like huh? there's a there's a Spike Gremlins look to him. I think he's both. Very attractive and very unattractive at the same time. Kind of like Scotty Pippen. So he said that too. <laughs> wow. Poor Scotty. I once had a bet with my friends that <laughs> Scotty Pippen was better looking than Michael Jordan, and they were, they were like, you're a complete idiot. I go, no, I know he's better looking. Let's pull up the images. We Google image searched it. What it time turned, of day was it? This is late afternoon. Okay. <laughs> Three, four, five, five, maybe six p.m. Okay. Turns out Michael Jordan much better looking than <laughs> all right. they're both much better looking than Michael Rappaport can we all agree oh, can we yeah. agree can yeah. we agree we can't agree my sure. god I was just watching not good old... at anything and not attractive well he's wow. you know the guy can uh, wow. rap can he rap at all I was, I was gonna, gonna say, gonna say can, can he, he rap do anything? I, no, I don't know I don't if he can he, yeah. he's got a podcast he really yeah. likes uh, he really likes the Knicks that's all Okay, and he was in Copland. I had that on. A <laughs> he was dude, Copland. Superboy. Yeah, Superboy. <laughs> oh, Su- that was his character. Oh, that was, that was his, his character. character. Yeah, yeah. His we just character. The- yeah. His character like hits. What is he? He goes the wrong way on the George Washington yeah. Bridge and like head on drunk driving hits somebody. Yeah, and and like uh, Sylvester Stallone is a emotionally unavailable local cop who <laughs> tries to prosecute him. Do you think right? that movie's any good? Yeah. I watched it right before I went to college. It was 1997. Yeah. Uh, I want to say, nope. I want to say it was, it was compared to Heat. No. Yeah. Well, I'm saying like <laughs> there were a couple of movies in that time period that were like, look at all these stars. We got in one movie, and this one uh, unfortunately didn't live up to it as much as you know what I mean. Ray Liotta. Wasn't it, it supposed big, to be sort of like an in? It was like, wasn't it like a a big budget indie flick? Like they, I, think I think they were like trying Nick, to make it like. Was that. it Nick Gomez? Did Nick Gomez direct it? Or am I wrong? I Jeremy. Wow, I'm gonna this need you. Let's go. Get, get him out of like the like way. Fifteen minutes. Fine, dude. Are we haven't even left do it myself? Wow. Per- I'll wow. Fucking fine. I'll fucking. Wow. We'll do it live. Fuck it. We'll do it live. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. That video will always give me enjoyment. I could be having a bad day and like feeling. You know, kind of crappy, and I can just Google search Joe James Riley. Mangold. I was way off. You I was thinking of off. New Jersey Drive. I was thinking of New Jersey Drive. That's Nick Gomez. Okay. okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just saying it's really nice to watch Bill O'Reilly freak out. It, it, it really is. Feel, it makes me feel real good. <laughs> I, I think I put that video on maybe a couple times a year. Oh, yeah. 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 Just when the cockles of my heart get cold <laughs> and I need to rewarm them. Your you know, it's like the first two weeks of January when like winter sets in, you know. You get that, yeah. you get that getting... Christmas hangover <laughs> or the holidays as you will. Yeah. Got uh, that Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, little... Christmas, Diwali type of Orthodox Christmas hangover. Mm-hmm. Or- Orthodox Christmas is the worst, man. Because it's like, what do you have? You know, alternate side of the street. You don't have to move your car that day. and. There's something wrong. There's a everyone else why do you is throwing a problem da- with that. Everyone else is throwing out their Christmas trees that day, and you're like, "Hooray! It's Christmas <laughs> finally!" Yeah. And not collecting the, my, the stands. Uh, my mother would beg to differ. She would. She's psyched that that it gets to go on longer. And we're like Roman Catholics, and we have like a Greek Orthodox church at the top of the uh, street where I grew up. Saint Gregory. She's like, 
anytime they're they're she's until they're done, <laughs> we're not done. <laughs> she just like keeps the tree up. This like, is the this is the type of okay, keeping Mom, up with the Jones. That's what you want. This is the type of keeping up with the Joneses yeah. that leads people to die of botulism. <laughs> We're drinking that milk till they finish their milk eggnog. This is good good Christian eggnog up here. Oh God, <laughs> Team Jesus. <laughs> what? Don't you think Pope Gregory no. was uh, responsible for? I don't know, but I know that his mom's on Team Jesus. I think I think all of our moms I think are on Team always... Jesus. I think all of our moms are on Team no, Jesus. No, Arthur. Uh, my mom is Jewish. Okay, but um, that would make you Jewish too. Uh, yes, that's correct. She's, <laughs> not, she's not a Jew for Jesus, is she? I don't think so. I have never met yeah. your mom at the airport. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they hand out things at the airport? Is that they, the, that's do what they, they still do, do that? Yeah, Hare Krishna is oh, a oh, Jews do. for Jesus. Oh, really? they still do. Um, la- I remember. I distinctly remember Jews for Jesus having a stakeout uh, downtown when I went to high school. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would make the transfer at Broadway, Nassau, or the Fulton Street stop in Lower Manhattan. Uh, and when you went from the A train to the four train, I remember there was like a Jews for Jesus display at times. At times, yeah, like a cartoon. But you know, at other times, they're not there. Yeah. Yeah. No, so. I mean, some like you know that you're going to put your stuff at like a high traffic area at a high traffic time. Yeah. Statistically, you could go your whole life without seeing them if you went off hours. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> Just, <laughs> if you planned your day around or, <laughs> or not trying to run you into could, them. Somebody put up uh somebody put up a way to avoid all the surveillance cameras in the in the the trains in uh Berlin. It was like if you walk this certain way. Oh, you avoid a, it? It's like a path? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's nice. Interesting. They're very concerned about it's a pro- black market path. They're very yeah. concerned about pi- privacy. The Germans. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why? What do they have to hide? Uh, Didn't we figure all that shit out 75 years ago? <laughs> they, they put it all out on the table, you know? 72 years 72. ago. 72 that. years ago. Excuse me. I'm really sorry. <laughs> uh, wow, 72 thank you, years thank you, ago. Thank you, Professor Morona. <laughs> Is that, is that mine? Oh. I don't do much. Up. I don't do much on this podcast, but I do agitate. I'm one of those agitators. <laughs> <laughs> you, Agi- you, you boil the blood. Agitates while lounging like the lady in Titanic. You're the one who nerf- they paint me like one of your French girls. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you're the one who asked for a pillow. I didn't even have the idea of a pillow in my mind, and now I'm just like I can't get away from the lounge. Yeah, but there's. Do a you d- usually lounge? Not enough. What's... Clearly, if I have to get it in during pod hours, you were. I would say you're aggressively lounging. It's, right? Yeah, this is not. A, yeah, this is a full, full on lounge. Oh. Yeah. Have you been lounged at? Have you been lounged at this hard before? <laughs> never been lounged. At. <laughs> oh no, I remember so, that. That was a Jennifer Jason Lee movie. Never been lounged. Okay. Okay. Definitely. Drew Barrymore directed. Yeah. Wow, you just you went eighties and and early aughts, or is that late nineties? I don't know who cares. Um, Lounge. <laughs> okay. okay. I wanted now to talk. Now you're into my space here. Yeah. I see. Well, we're still in the 90s then, not not the 80s. I did want to talk about, I'm I'm a very big Arthur Meyer fi- fan uh, from way back, just so you know. I, I've been, you did Vine for a while, right? I uh, I think I posted about maybe eight eight or nine Vine videos. And then, but what <laughs> happened with the Subway ones? Because I remember oh, those the, the subway just idea. destroyed me. Yeah. It's yes. like you uh, having a, a full conversation through the doors of, Subways. Yeah, I would just run alongside the yeah. subway train. But that had to have taken, like, uh, for the listener, there's it's a series, right? Yeah, it's a series we've, we've of videos. We've done three videos. Right. They're about a minute long each. So how long did it take you? Uh, it would take maybe about a day or two oh. of just uh, shoot. It would be my friend Colin shooting me running alongside the subway train as it departed uh, various stations. From inside, the shot from inside. Shot from inside. Which I'm is running outside the train. So a lot of planning. when I was done running, I would have to wait for the next train. <laughs> Meet my friend Colin at the next station, and then he would be waiting there. And you do it all over. And we do it all over again. Yeah, oh. that's, that's amazing. <laughs> Did you pick like unoccupied stations for this stuff? Yeah, we would try. We would go during the day, and we would try empty stations primarily because uh, we didn't want to get busted by the cops. Did you see any Jews for Jesus, per chance? I, I you know, I'm sure we did. I don't. Um, I don't even see them. I, the ones I see now are the Latter Day Saints, right? Those are the ones that are posted up there all the time. Yeah, the Mormons, Church of, Church of the Latter Day Saints. You right? talk about Mormons; they're they're from the other, sure, side of the the whole Jesus uh, debate. They're from you know Mormonism is from upstate New York. How many religions do you know that came from upstate New York? A lot. Le- legal ones. One. 
Well, I, know. I guess whatever their religion was in Green Room. Did you see that movie? It was I, a fucked up movie. Mm-mm. Only mm-hmm. one New York religion? Is that true? I mean, it, and Mormonism. You I think this is another. Yeah, one they, of these uh, Joseph Smith bullshits. was from upstate New York. This okay. is not one. This is not one of my horseshitters here. You can you can uh, fact check this one for okay. free. Okay, fine. I'm not gonna fact check it, but I'll, I will. I've I've fact checked it in my brain to. to yeah, I'm gonna go further. right before I go to sleep tonight. When my fiance is like, "You shouldn't be looking at your phone because you're gonna keep your brain up." I'm I need gonna, to. I it's need, gonna be up, and that's honey, what I'm gonna I be looking at. I need to know at. this, <laughs> honey. I need to know this. <laughs> <laughs> fr- with, with no with no context, I'll text Caitlin, Ithaca, the Finger Lakes, <laughs> and she'll be like, "What is the what the fuck is this about?" <laughs> uh, a lot of uh, religions come from upstate, but not necessarily New York. Like, upstate, there, like some weird, like upstate Baden uh, like, Wittenberg, up in, like like northern Michigan, mm-hmm. and like there's you know those islands where oh the oh the Mackinac is no come on then. I don't the, the Mackinac is that yeah. Billy Billy Joel's ode to the No Midwest? no they're from Mackinac <laughs> Island is a it's a cult of Mackinac they, st- they 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 worship the the bridge deity that that goes between Ontario and you Canada. Can't even say you it. Fucking <laughs> dick. Fuck you you're the one who's <laughs> laughing I like that cartoon though Which? Oh no that's Animaniacs so Oh yeah <laughs> Yeah, you're, that was a good yeah. one. You were a child of the, the, the 90s then, North? Or? I am. Yes, I was. I uh, Although, you know, we didn't have cable. So, uh, you know, I, I my references are limited, uh, including uh, your guys' TV show. Did did you grow up taking the... The door is right there. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you gave, you, gave me a cha- you gave me a hell of a chance at a segue, but yeah. did uh, did you grow up taking the, the loop or the L, the... Train and, yeah, uh, I memorized all the L train stations when I was a kid. Did you? Were you like into it? Because I've mm-hmm. I found that it was really a lot of fun coming from New York and riding that. Uh, any of the the trains in Chicago. Yeah, the Chicago trains are great. Yeah, right on par with New York in terms of enjoyment, and that that is genuine. Am I? Uh, I didn't like that you had to buy some sort of card thing. Yeah. Well, you do have to do that in New York, too. Yeah, but I'm, I'm comfortable with my card. I yeah. got a I got a Ventra card when I was there. Ventra. That that's had, it. That's it had it. a oh, MasterCard yeah. thing on it. Yeah. And I felt like I like just set up like a debit account yes. with, yes. with the CTA. And with, right. like, with those with those uh, three checks with those three checks that come with the credit card applications <laughs> yeah. that are like transferred five thousand yeah, dollars like, of balance. Oh, shit, yeah. What did I just do? Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. going to track you down. Yeah. So I've kept the card, so yeah, that, you know that, I want to go back there so I can just keep using the card. Yeah, Chicago seems cool as hell. Is what I, is what I'm trying to get at. And it's it's pretty great. Were yeah. you inspired by the the train when you got here? Were you like, wow, New York City train? Yeah, I, well, it brought me back to Chicago trains because I went to college in Boston. I don't think the train goes that far uh, in New York. It only goes. Yeah, I think it only goes as you, far as like twelfth. So screwed. In it goes Boston. as far as Twelfth right. Avenue. It doesn't go all the way to Chicago. That's true. Yeah, I sort of meant um, on a more uh, emotional <laughs> level. Um, <laughs> it brought me back uh, as an adult would be brought back to childhood. I uh, did. It's beautiful that New York City can do that for you. It is. Yeah. yeah. I like that you did the big three too, Boston. New York, Chicago. Yeah. Well, oh, Boston what do you, has what do you consider Boston yeah. a big city? Wow. Yeah, it's pretty Shots big. Fired. I, we just lost Massachusetts. Oh, well, we just lost I, Massachusetts. I went to school in Western Massachusetts, so I, I, I think when you play the Nintendo game Double Dribble, the four teams you could be: <laughs> are <laughs> Chicago, Boston, <laughs> Los York. Angeles, and New York. I think yeah. he's right. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's that right. That's so always good. been my marker for what oh, the big. Oh, TV timeout. Yeah. Oh, TV timeout. Oh, that's from the other game. What was that called? All, All-Star Brawl or Basket Brawl, right? Basket Brawl. That's the other one. There was Double Dribble mm-hmm. and there was Basket Brawl. Uh, I never played Basket uh, Brawl. Maybe it was just maybe it was just Double Dribble. Yeah. That was really the best one. But what was the what was the game um what's the one you're talking about? Double game? Dribble. Double Dribble. Yeah. Double Dribble. Double Dribble. I don't even know what platform that was, but that I know was the, straight it was straight up an Nintendo. arcade. It was an yeah. arcade yeah? game as well. Oh, what? No, it was. I I I remember it just Nintendo. Jeremy, we're we're leaving one fact check on the table this After whole another. time. Well, yeah. it's it, it's the way it is. You can't ask me. I was an Atari guy. Thanks, oh yeah, Dad. No, he wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, no, I he didn't wasn't. have a Nintendo. He's too young. I had to go play Nintendo. On my He's too young. Now. His first his first game w- platform well, shit, was I had like, a twenty six hundred like, motherfucker. His first <laughs> game platform was a Sega CD. <laughs> his wow. first. That's not nice. <laughs> I did. I did actually get a se- couple Sega games once when I got Genesis, and I was pissed off. I was like, "This doesn't work." 
<laughs> it's like when these you, things don't even fit yeah. into the it, console. It's what like did imagine, I do? It's like if you got like a bottle of Pepsi for your first night of Hanukkah or something like that. You're like, what am I going to do with this? Yeah, it's it's a real, it's a real letdown. And then you don't, un- and then you get like you. It doesn't work, and then you get like vanilla ice cream for like the eighth day, and you're like, "Oh, okay, now I get it. you want me to put the two together." But I finished the Pepsi in the meantime. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you would do? Is that is that customary? I mean, I've never heard that analogy before, <laughs> but it's impressive nonetheless. Yeah. So do, you're gonna go back st- and see the family slow, and you and you like it. You, you really. You're going to go back and see the family? We miss you. No, they they I, miss you. I, guys, I miss you, too. Oh, it's a classic Konami game. Oh, there it Double is. Dribble. Double dribble. Konami. Double dribble. Double dribble. I'm sure Trump I, pl- ball. I played it, but the one that sticks in my head is the Jordan vs. Bird on the floppy disk what? on the Tandy. If Ooh, Larry yes, Bird yes. wasn't around when Double Dribble was being made, Boston would not have been on that floor. I You're would, absolutely right. <laughs> I would say that... Uh, if Larry Bird was in Atlanta, I would say it Michael been Jordan. Atlanta. Yeah. Michael Jordan, more attractive man than Larry Bird. Oh yeah, Larry Bird is another best athlete slash ugliest athlete of all time. Mm-hmm. I think that now that he's a a team exec, like all like they all are, do you think that he gets a drone to cut his nose hair? <laughs> do you think that there are, Do you think that there are like drone cutting nose hairs? They're automatic nose, nose hair cutting hair drone things that you can just. Turn on and stick up your nose. I know, but what he's so fucking busy that both hands are, you know, he's right. just like, ah, let right. me do something else right now, and it just right. like flies and it's like, and co- keeps going. I'm sure he. I'm saying I'm he sure could he do it. Does. He could hook a drone up to that thing. For Maybe sure. he gets a, a bird. To we do were that. on the a bird, Larry Bird's bird, the bird yeah, bird, the like bird the, bird. like the doctor bird or the yeah. dentist bird. There's the bird bird. Yeah, exactly. Have you heard? I have not heard about the, the bird uh, <laughs> being the word. <laughs> what I have heard uh, is that. I was doing a commercial once, and some makeup lady stuck one of those things up my nose, and it made a loud noise, and we were on set, and everyone turned to look, and they were like, why is she clipping your nose hairs right now they turn- in front of everybody? And they, I was like- They turned around, and she was like, she was, to pull, she was pulling the starter string. She was like, sorry, folks, the, the starter is busted. <laughs> just, rrr, rrr, uh, it just got stuck on the forest up there, up uh, Tamborelli's nose. Yeah, rrr, but I know rrr. never- ha- like, I ne- like, she did it- I don't know why she did it. I don't think I have just in front long of nose hairs. I'm not like that old. Uh, it's like it just just happened. And, I, and then the I had to like explain me, myself to be like, well, no, she did it. I didn't ask for it. You know, like, and then you're like, you know, what are you going to say? You just say, yeah, you stuck that thing up my, my nose so you can cut my hair. It sounds front like of my drone touched a nerve. Yeah, it really, it really brought me somewhere. <laughs> That's really funny. It was just completely unnecessary. Completely unnecessary. She, she was trying to go above and beyond. I and, guess so. In so doing, I guess so. The, I guess the, the, Well, the the they should make a more discreet one that doesn't have like a super like razor buzz. Yeah. You know, so like, and everybody stealth, turns to look. A stealth nose cutting drone, maybe. Yeah, like Dyson, make one. What the fuck? I'd buy it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> you, know, you make the fans with no, you know. Blades, let's you can do it with nose hair clippers too. Let's go. Did she seem embarrassed? No, she seemed like she was being like extra Doing nice her, about yeah. it. And you know, and it, it took it was no time. I was like, she just pulled it out and stuck it up my nose, and I had no time to react. And it was just like, <laughs> and then pulled it out, and I was stunned, and then stuck it in my other nostril. And it was like, howdy, stranger, you see this thing? <laughs> stick it, <laughs> up, stick your it up your nose, just keep going till you hear the crack. Then start pulling. Wow. wow. Wait, this is is this the same? That was total recall. You're you're a child of the nineties, right? Arthur? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> speaking of, speaking of segues, yeah. uh were okay, you you're able a to child watch child of the nineties, right? Were you able to watch uh were you able to watch our show on like VHS tapes from friends or anything like that? Or what, like Don't when push you went him on this when man. you went over to other friends' houses, maybe because you didn't have cable TV yourself. Yes, exactly. I did yeah. No, um You did the Nintendo thing I did. You yeah. go somewhere else. I did that. I would do you that. You brought your own yeah. controller? No. He's like, I don't have a Nintendo, but I brought my own controller. Hey, guys. <laughs> I know the code works if you do up, down, up, down. That's the kind of thing my, my parents would do is buy me um, a controller, but not a... I mean, they never did that. Oh, that is classic. <laughs> I'm totally yeah. going to do that. We finally, you? when I was in eighth grade, we finally got a PlayStation. <laughs> no Switch, but here's a dock here's if your a, friends yeah, exactly. come over. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. my God. Here's a plug. Oh, my God. Yeah. I don't want you getting sick. And, you know, you keep going over to Tommy's house and his son... He's, Kid picks his nose He's all the time. He's got consumption. Conjunctivitis. You're always touching the touch screen. 
Arthur, before you leave, make sure you t- which whose house you going over. All right, get the Sega Genesis controller. And the Purell. Here's the Super and NES the, controller. And the, and the Purell. Here's the Super NES. <laughs> I know about those you Hueys. They sneeze all over that controller. They sneeze all over everything. Don't touch his advantage or his max. His max is germs to the max. Uh, don't get me started on the game glove, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember that thing, too. The game glove. What's it called? The There's power no, glove. Power, power glove. Isn't that yeah. what they called you, Dan? The game glove? Mm. I feel like the- that's, that's Arby's venison uh, combo is the game glove. <sighs> I feel like the uh, uh, the game glove was recently <laughs> worn by uh, steampunks. I think I saw. It was steam- in the last. It was in the last Daft Punk video. Is is what you're thinking <laughs> what of? It? Yeah, in get l- in get lucky. Yeah, it was in the. I do have the mat, the running oh. mat that used to run on. Oh, that thing oh, was yeah. great. Oh, the power pad. Yeah. Power pad. You had the oh, power that's the pad. power pad. That's the power glove. Yeah, it used to kick ass on track and field yeah. one and two. Yeah, track and field two, we which is bust- also a Konami game. Was a lot of fun. Were those the only games for that? Like track and field. That's all I remember playing. Oh no, you oh, could yeah. do you could do it with a lot of other games. or just certain ones where it did very well. Okay. You could use that as a regular controller. I think. Right. You could just. Oh my god. Uh, I'm pretty so? sure. You I am probably pretty sure. Could. Yeah. And like play like Super Mario or something. Yeah. Just, yeah. I don't know about that. All right, guys. I have a mind. great idea. Anybody seen that movie Big? Anybody seen that movie? Huh? The, the, you seen them? Wiz- you seen that movie? Big, right? You know they have that big old keyboard. The keyboard, the classic. Kids scene. love that. Yeah. Kids Robert, love that. We're Robert gonna make Lodgy a board that we can do, and we can exactly. have the controllers on the floor. What a fucking! It's and that's about Dance it. Dance Revolution. <laughs> it's a lot of coke went into making that idea for N- Nintendo. Do you think the Nintendo execs do do a lot of drugs? I feel like Mario was a real person. Mario was there. Mario. Ma- Is it, what do you, how do you Mario. say Mario? Uh, I say Mario, but Thank you. recently. But you're from the you're from the Midwest. Yeah. No, um, no pressure. But I would then I would think I would say well what is what's the Mario pronunciation? That's Dan. That's said how he it. says I it. I know Mario. Well, uh, yes. Mario Brothers. No, Mario. Super Ma- I I don't Mario. I say it like Mario. Yeah. Right. Super Mario Brothers. And Mario was Nintendo's landlord in Seattle, and he's an actual person. Mario. I don't know who you're referring to, but I'm talking about <laughs> Super Mario. What about we're talking about Luigi? We're talking about Batali, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. You can see the clogs and the crocs. Excuse yeah. me, the crocs. Yeah. The clogs and the crocs. I think that's a form of hell, having to be uh, re- reincarnated as a pair of his clogs. Yes. Crocs. Crocs. They're crocs. They're crogs. Are they definitely crocs? I can we settle this? Because I know right. chefs wear clogs. Clocks. No, they're crocs. He wears the, 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 the creepy orange ones. Yeah. Really? Yeah, with yeah. socks. Crocs with socks. Mm. And he wears a vest. <laughs> Jeremy, <hungry>. and Jeremy <laughs> involuntarily just uncrossed his legs. Get and got hungry, it. man. <laughs> <laughs> All this Batali talk. You could go to Italy and pay an arm, oh. an arm and a leg for a, some bread. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Last you two could. times. Last two you times could. we've been. Last two times we've been back. We went to Lou Malnati's. Lou Malnati's Pizzeria. Yeah. That, what do you think? That's the one I like. It's fantastic, isn't it? Is yeah. that? Do you, uh, remember what we was went, that? What was the Remember two? we went straight from the plane to Lou Malnati's? Yes. When we went, yeah, yes. straight from the airport. And I like Lou's better than the other one. Pequods. 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 Oh, I don't know that one. Oh, yeah. Maybe that was. Is that newer? I you don't think? know. Damn. No, they're both uh, institutions, as far as we know. Oh. Just mm-hmm. Lou Malnati's has a couple more locations, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, several. Mm-hmm. And they can ship it to you worldwide. <laughs> We bring it a pizza to you. That's that, yeah. that's a funny. Uh, I was working on The Good Wife a few years ago, which is set in Chicago, uh-huh. and I remember that there was like Lou Malnati's gift items in the in the set as like a going away present to this oh, ca- yeah. to this character on the show. And I was like, wow, that looks like it only traveled a little way, but it had to travel all the way to New York to be in a TV show right. about Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good craft service, man. Just have. Lou Malnati's. Yeah. Oh, don't, don't steal a billion dollar idea from me, Jeremy. We have a little segment we like to mm-hmm. call billion dollar ideas. <laughs> oh, okay. My last one that I ripped red hot from the firmament of my brain was black leather uh, Planet Hollywood baby onesies. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was my latest genius idea. This was so, in the so I think uh, I think the pressure's on you now, Arthur, to come up with a, oh, a billion dollar idea. Just right. you know, you know, whatever for the for the remainder of the podcast, ready go, if no it, pressure. If it happens, <laughs> let you know, let it out. If it doesn't happen, don't feel bad about it. I got I got two. Oh, wow, I got two. Someone with, someone came correct. Go, okay. go go for it. 
One is spider coffins. Okay. For when you kill your spider. <laughs> That's great. You oh, man. give them okay. a proper burial. How right. often does it happen? He's right. He's yeah, right. This, this comes up again and again. Yep. Um, another one would be the adult Bjorn. Uh, so, oh, you know, if you're hanging that. out with your spouse, you get a little sleepy, you want to take a nap, you right. jump in, uh-huh. you get carried. Unf- unfortunately, my... You may you may love him. I'm gonna I'm gonna out myself. My least favorite gimmick comic, Mark Malkoff, I think did this this bit mm-hmm. um, where like a really big guy like carried him strapped to him like a like a baby it's, Bjorn. He's like a small guy. It's very in line with the paper towel T-shirt. Uh, oh. Dan used to be a sweater. Uh, used to be used a sw- to be used to be a sweater. He's a born <laughs> sweater. He's sweating right now while we're looking over here. Yeah, I don't over think he's doing that bad. I can't sweat. Not um sure. but yeah that was the idea that we were going to make him a paper towel t-shirt so that paper towel tank top yeah same t- i want to get back t-shirt. to the spider coffin sure yeah something. would they be biodegradable is what's important to us no it would be <laughs> very harmful whatever a regular coffin is made out they're is made of a solid formaldehyde just yeah. <laughs> straight soaked just oak <laughs> wood <laughs> soaked smooth oaked oaked but, uh, my, completely I guess molded I, molded <laughs> my question is why? Because they, I don't ever, I don't have regret when I see a dead spider. You should. I don't. Like, you I should. Don't, you I, should honor like, spider. Spiders are the about, best. Like, Ooh, I just I don't want the spider in the room. I, I feel, feel like, it, I've, and then it's yeah. and then it's over. And I, I feel don't like go, there's some man. I really wish I had just taken it and thrown it outside. Jeremy, some some things I've changed over the years in the podcast. I've evolved, you know, like about sure. children or life or God. But spiders, I've always been consistent <laughs> on. They are good. Spiders are good, I and they're good they're force. Good. So you cannot. Not have regrets when you see a dead one. You can't just be like, oh, this doesn't affect me. Uh, it affects you, okay? It doesn't. It affects the entire planet. Nah. It affects the ecosystem and all the things in it. <laughs> Not me. I mean, to me. Not the, me. To me. You're the, the one. What are you talking about? The mosquitoes are drinking his rich Pomodoro blood. Hey, hey, all right, yeah, Michael. Let's, that's let's, a, that was a little let's rough. Let's go. <laughs> let's go here, pal. What? Thank you, Arthur. <laughs> to I, me, to me I, the, I, well, I'm just asking him the question. I don't need your your fucking two I cents. Needed, I needed to get that out there. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez! Because he insulted our arachnid friends. Hey, I I got nothing against him. Don't come in my room, and I won't fuck with you. Yeah, you know that's it. Sorry, so, wait, uh, put that on your. They're what, on my fourth. Uh, I live in the fourth floor. Did you, you know? notice that spiders they, can't read? I it doesn't say it like Dan's room. Stay to get out. up there. Yeah, but. You know, he entered my domicile, man. Uh, do not tread on me. No sympathy. You know? I have no a y- sympathy. I have a young son, and he's just now doing itsy bitsy spider. He just does this part for itsy bitsy spider. Mm-hmm. He doesn't really do a lot of the rest of the gestures. That's all you need. So is that is that another reason why I I'm going to teach him? I'm going to teach him to re- to you're respect. respect the spider. Yeah. Then you're going to Liam and Landon. Then you're going to have to invest in Arthur's <laughs> <laughs> new spider. <laughs> Show uh, the ultimate respect for your spider cough. Your spider corpse. But you you didn't, again, you keep interrupting. I, you I w- keep disrespecting. <laughs> I would love to let Michael, Arthur talk if Michael, you could stop I would disrespecting just, spiders so much. Michael. You're saying, you're saying, I don't see the need for Michael. a coffin. Let's just kick them in the dust. And I'm he's, asking and Arthur, he's saying, I'm asking, coffin. Hey, can you just cut his microphone for a second? <laughs> Arthur. Get, get rid of him. Arthur. Get, get him out. Get I him can't. out. Arthur, it's just you and me. <laughs> no, that is okay, a, no, that's no, the shut, exact opposite of what the I just fu- asked shut for. Shut the fuck up. Arthur, I'm over here. Tell me about spider coffins. Arthur, do not, not look at him. I respect him. <laughs> do not look at him. Jeremy, turn the light Jeremy, out. Help, help. Jeremy, help. Somehow I didn't picture the podcast going in this Jeremy, direction. Turn the, yeah. Jeremy, turn the light out or I'm going to hit you with that guitar. There I is a famous saying that has happened in this apartment before and it's get the fuck out. Yeah, get the fuck out. And I'm... Uh, it's about to happen. No, no there's no, no get not. the fuck out. Does it it's ever not, get a not. little bit explosive between you guys? Is that, does the tension ever rise? I would say only that. over spiders. Yeah. <laughs> it seems, only it seems, when this fucking asshole badmouths spiders, which are essential to our ecosystem and life. Again, I'm not badmouthing them. I don't. I, I have much respect for them. Uber respect. Oh, fact. yeah, but you wouldn't want one of them marrying your sister, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't because that's kind of that's doesn't even make sense. Why their offspring would have all these superpowers and great responsibilities? No. Oh. Anyway, anyway, they'd be very good at soccer. They'd have eight <laughs> legs, dude. So now you're talking my uh, language, Arthur. I'm gonna get your number, and then after this podcast, I'm gonna the question. really because yeah. I have some people who are interested in prick asshole. In stuff. Will you just let him explain <laughs> his idea that he had about? Spider coffins and just stop disrespecting them. Thank you, Arthur. Go ahead. Okay. Well, the thing is, 
Oh, sorry. I was just expecting you to interrupt. <laughs> Come on! I I didn't Thank fall you. for that one. I didn't. That's when the that's when the quarterback that's when the quarterback goes goes hut 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 high cut hut hut. hut. I didn't fall for that. One. Come on. Let's go. Well, the point of the spider coffin is that it's intentionally inconvenient. You know, usually when you sell a product, it's supposed to make someone's life easier. This is a, a rare instance of a product that makes you like life harder. Oh, okay. Um, you know, like uh, when I lived alone, for instance, what I would do sometimes would be uh, before I left, uh, I would tip over a chair. So that way, when I would get home at night, I would come home and see a chair on the ground and get annoyed with my earlier self. And uh, you're like, what the hell is this? And sometimes it just feels good to make your life a little bit harder. Okay, okay. Yeah. You come home late at night, you turn a, turn a light on or no? Just stumble turn, right you through. You turn the light on and then I would see what the What the chair. hell? Yeah, exactly. I'd be what is this? Oh, earlier Arthur. Earlier if you could, Arthur. Yeah. If you could work like fake blood into it. That could be a very dark earlier off. Yes, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Maybe like a, a bloody n- knife. Yeah, that could uh, be good. But maybe a, a chopstick. Yeah. How long? It's do funny. You think Arthur he... never talks to his neighbor across the way, and they always get to the door at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> How long do you think he leaves the house for? For all this murder. I don't know, he's a busy occur. man. Busy man. He's got all these coffins to make. Mm-hmm. Oh, do you make them or do you? I, you don't, sub, I don't. You it's, sub that out. It doesn't exist yet, but I mm. I got a bunch of ideas for. Uh, go back to the other idea. Um, the adult Bjorn. Oh, the adult Bjorn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to hear more about that. I got some. I got a couple more. Okay. I, I just came up with one the other day. It's a rest. It's another inconvenient idea. It's a restaurant where they just give you the receipt, um, and charge you, <laughs> and you don't get food. At all. <laughs> but you get to sit down, right? You get to sit down. This is plenty for a lot of people. You, and then they get to save on calories. They immediately bring you the receipt. Oh. And that is service. Yeah. That's service that you can't get anywhere. I know. It's pretty. It's, so you it, pay. You pay for you, that. Yes. Yeah. New York City tap water involved. Yeah. Any sort of no, tap water. No food. No beverage. No. They oh, bring right. you the yeah, receipt. They bring you the receipt. Just right the receipt. Away. Yeah. Okay. You should pitch that to Batali when he's on the the show next. On the Crocs. High on Crocs. Yeah. Does he wear the Crocs on? I don't in care. bed. Yeah, in bed. Yeah. On the show. I think he wears. Oh yeah, he wears them yeah, all the time. Yeah, really? I've only ever seen him wearing Crocs. Yeah. That's. Uh, I maybe. I mean, I think that's the ultimate form of. Uh, no flattery, no Fs. Yeah, right? I just don't care. Anymore. None given, mm-hmm. none, none given, none granted. Some rich mm-hmm. people will, you know, in, try to invent uh, planes that can go to space for you. Mm-hmm. Others will just wear Crocs. <laughs> yeah, and make pasta. I mean, so someone's got to make the pasta. That's true. They ain't gonna true. make itself. No. I'm all right. <laughs> I, have, I have several types of pasta at home right now because I haven't made it. What What do you got? I got. Gnocchi in the fridge. I have because they're fresh gnocchi. I mm-hmm. have, I have ears, and I have bow ties, and I have. Do you have bucatini? I do not have little mouths. Uh. Is that what that is? Little mouths, little tubes. I forget. Well, you do get a fact check. So, oh yeah, well, Boca is face. Boca Raton uh-huh. and De Beppo. Boca De Beppo. Tini. Is teeny is little. Teeny's little. Yeah. Is little. Like my la- like my last bitsy. name is Tamborelli, and and it translates to little drum. Oh yeah, that's Tamburini. Tamburelli is what's, another. What's type your of last drum. name, Arthur? Meyer. My la- last name is Meyer. What does that uh, translate to? Um, he gets all the detergent. I de- that's a good question. I don't it's know. German, huh? Yeah. Okay, I'm looking it up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Is well, that we're gonna get to the, We're getting to the bottom of this. Yeah, but it just looks like spaghetti. Yeah, it's like fat. It's spaghetti. a thick, yeah. thick spaghetti. That's what it is. Oh, it's a girthy spaghetti. <laughs> there it is. I bet it's, that I bet that got you a long way. Oh, it's, it's hollow. That's why. That's, that's, that's why. It's tiny pool noodles. It's in re- in in tiny pool. Yeah, it's noodles. Flipped for the listener. Uh, oh. Yeah, our pool noodles are great. Just learning. Yeah, right. yeah. You can I do a lot of stuff in the pool with them. Meyer oh, yeah. Meyer means Meyer, so that's that's helpful. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, Meyer. Means There's no meaning. It's just a. Just sounds good. I don't it's know. It's a really that. mean yeah. thing to say to the guests. Your last name means nothing. That's okay. No, it means Danny. itself. It's, it's, it's act- different. I'm real. I feel like we're not. It's not usually like this, Arthur. I don't <laughs> know what, the, what. What episode are we on? Here? Somebody, <laughs> somebody, are we, are, the second one. Something? <laughs> somebody are we crossed in? the fucking line when he disrespected our eight-legged friends. Am I right, Arthur? <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't mediate this one, guys. We're, we're, you, you're, yeah, dude, you're, you're too it's, far it's, in the muck. Uh, on uh, that. No, you re- recuse yourself. There you go. This. What about a service? That's, that's a word that yeah. everybody uses nowadays. Yeah, totally. <laughs> what about a special? It really did. It, it took did. it took like a seventeen year absence. Which, I remember which people term? recusing, recusing. yourself. People oh, were using yeah. it a lot during the two thousand election. 
Really? Yeah, oh. I remember that it would come up. People would say, oh, he recused himself. Yeah, nobody's recusing. And there should have been several recusals in the uh, Bush v. Gore. You're right. Yes. Scalia, for sure. That uh-huh. would have been, yes, that would have been useful. And Thomas, actually, would have been useful. Mm-hmm. And that would have been a much better outcome. I was thinking about what if somebody put angel hair inside of each of those noodles, like just threaded it through. Wow. Kind of a double pasta situation. Yeah, but yeah, you're going to have to find somebody to yeah, do I'm that. Yeah, I'm going to say the prep time, oh. the, I mean, that's going to be No, a, no, no, I'll do it. <laughs> Jeremy's down. That's fine. You have a stage day tomorrow, so you get, you get done Jeremy's early. Jeremy's good right? with his fingers. Yeah, and pasta. I feel like to do that, you would need the same level of skill that it takes to pull the drawstring through your uh, sweatshirt. Uh, that's valid. After you get yeah. in just, the laundry. Just wet it and freeze yeah. it. Really? Yeah, that's all you got to do. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. No no charge. Michael. That That is a billion Thank dollar idea. That. That's a legitimate. That's not bad. Just freeze it in a I would like to C think shape. that he's lying, but I feel like that came out too fast for that was like too fast for his own line. <laughs> <laughs> it, just, it just came out so like, oh, I got a pro tip on that. Sorry, like, <laughs> sorry, it didn't sound uh, contrived enough for you. <laughs> I can't always tell when Michael is uh, no, lying nobody or can. Yeah, nobody can. I've been dealing with it for. 25 years longer does, than anyone else does it ever get family. frustrating or is it no because it, the it, yes it, it always gets frustrating but i think he the, get, quote, he the seems quote on the back of the box is endlessly once a, entertaining once a time endlessly like, once during a hangout it'll happen and it's like it, and and it'll catch me and i'll be believe you know i get it we'll go back to a, the, the wayne's world reference fished in yeah like just yeah. i got the net i was you know Hooked, right? Correct. Oh, is that what get the net means? Get the I net. think so. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, the they, they just hooked him. Get the net. You know, I never knew it, what that meant. Well, because like you're fishing with a line, and then sometimes you Fish come in with a net underneath. I always thought it was an early reference to the internet. Wow. Get you know, net. I thought it. No, I thought about it both ways, yeah. but I'm gonna go with Dan's fishing. I think it might be too old for. I mean, for proper internet discussion. Oh, well, I mean, we had already sent emails at that point. The first email was sent in. Jeremy? 73. 1969. Okay. Thank you. That's pretty close. Thank you. I, f- I was trying to take your lead of just saying the first thing. And, 1969? And, and the first email? Look it up, babe. Wait. The first email was sent in 1969. It was Look written it in a letter and mailed in a mailbox. <laughs> it was stuck. But someone called it an email. <laughs> on a co- no, it was on a, a computer. Really? Jeremy, look it up. They took it. 71. Took an email. Nice. 71. Jeez. So, but it's but because you went over, uh, I would no. have won on the prices right. Well, it's not yeah, prices right went rules, though. You went over. I think though. we tied. Okay, that's fine. I'll take a tie. <laughs> Do you want to know any so more much, about it? There's so much standoffish, like no, no, Jer- attitude. No, in Jeremy here right and I are now. doing really great. Actually, you know, we we hung out. I gave him a ride home the other night. You know. Oh, I'm not. Did you want to take it to your relationship? <laughs> that seemed like no. You were I didn't like, think it was standoffish at all. I think we're going we'll to have a crackling synergy. That's, that's how I would characterize it. A crackling it. synergy. Yeah, that's how I would cr- characterize it. Uh, you know, like the the robot that helps Jem. Arthur, how are you enjoying that uh, uh, seltzer oh, yeah. out there? It's very good. It's very nice, very small. Uh, <laughs> Do you have a favorite brand of <laughs> yeah. seltzer? Is it polar like ours? Um, I like the look. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess you can't help it. You're from the Midwest. There's certain things, you know, the water doesn't taste right to you. Oh, yeah. No. It's, a good, it's a good replacement when uh, there's no polar to be had. Oh, <laughs> Oh, so the West Coast lobby has gotten to you too. <laughs> oh, I watched. Thank you for drinking seltzer. In parentheses, is that a movie? I can't fact so, check anymore. Uh, thank I'm you for smoking. Out. He's out of. He's oh, out yeah. of. Uh, very. Yeah. He's anyway, all out of. You fuck know, they can't all be winners, <laughs> Arthur. He's, he's all out of fuck all, checks to give. As, as long as you're, as long as you keep throwing stuff out there, we'll fish. Know. We'll fish it back, uh, I, <laughs> dude. Wayne's World's. Didn't lobbyists? Thank you for smoking. Thank you for drinking. Wayne's World took place in Chicago, but it didn't. That was like fake Chicago. That was not really Chicago at all, but it was sort of Chicago. Yeah, but I mean, it it, it was was like movie Chicago. Yeah, but clearly, but Mike Mike Myers is from Canada. He's from Toronto. They probably shot that movie in Toronto. Surprise, surprise. Uh, You know what I mean? He's not from. No, I know. I get it. Where's Stan's Donuts? Mikita's. That's, that's, that's got to be, be a fake place. Where's Stan right? Donuts? It was a fake place. My band was on tour in March, and we are driving through. Uh, we played in Chicago. One of his and, guys and was decal. all partied out, too, in oh, the yeah. back. Uh, yeah, he yeah. was about to spew. Okay, I gave him this, I gave him this okay, little okay, cup, okay. and I was like, if you're going to spew, <laughs> spew, spew, uh, yeah. spew this. But we, we drove through DeKalb 
in through Aurora, and they were having like a Wayne's World weekend where they like celebrate the the movie because it's such a big deal for them. Did oh, you yeah. not and let they, me know about this took, on purpose? And they took a Stan Makita's like the the statue or or whatever like from the prop house the hockey in players. Hollywood and like drove it on a truck and didn't tell wow. anybody and then like put it somewhere and people like freaked the fuck out. Wow. Yeah. But we got there uh 6 a hours days after that. <laughs> no, we got there the day before it was going on so like we just like caught wind of like the essence of Wayne's World everywhere like people were like statue walking around and like there was like a record store that they turned into Wayne's basement. Like they they went all out. Oh man, we were we couldn't. We saw that they had advertised the the Stan Makita, uh, and we tried to find it. We call I called the town hall and asked them if they knew where it was. And I'm just an inquiring mind here. And they never told me. <laughs> they like sent me to three different people that th- sent me to someone else. Wait, and I you was wanted like, to you know find it, but up. you couldn't find the statue, right? Because I knew, I figured if it was a day before this was happening, that it would be up somewhere. They probably thought but that you would steal it. That's why little... nobody told you, right? Because maybe it's only five feet tall. I keep thinking it's a massive, huge. No, thing. it could be, but you could be one of those outside agitators. I don't know. Do I look like an outside agitator? You, you look like the opposite of it, an agitator. Inside? He looks like an inside warrior. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Valid. Yeah. I'm fighting an my ins- blood pressure every day. An inside validator. <laughs> he looks like an inside validator. <laughs> oh, come on in. It's nice to see you. Come on in. Sit down. Ah, how are you? Hey, I tell you about my clean and green laundry detergent. It's really high tech. Eco-friendly. Eco-soap. It's kill called eco Dan, it's called eco-soap. Whatever. I t- I'm... I'm <laughs> you don't know, you know what, what goes think, in it. You, you don't think, even know what's in it. You think just because I kill some spiders, I don't care about the fucking environment. You know? That's where I think we just went. I know. I'm not trying to go back there, but it's, again, there's there's something happening in this room, man. Like, is there like a, a portal to hell or Somebody something? Somebody just stirred up on? a spider's nest. Am I right? Oh, oh my God. boy. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> I got to see the Mirthmobile once. Oh really? Yeah. Let's completely <laughs> flip this around. Yeah. <laughs> That's a real car. Yeah, it was at the the uh, Gremlin. It was at a on a uh, the Par- Paramount's Kings Island. It was after Paramount bought our local uh, theme park movie and theater. So they so they brought in all these like props and they, it still had the uh, the licorice dispenser in it. Oh, which I man. thought was pretty rare. I love or that maybe thing. it was a redo, but you know that thing was the coolest. Oh yeah, any kind of dispenser. The I've always thought it was the coolest Excellent. thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. Yeah. You know in a different place or not just like any any, any di- dispenser at all? Any dispenser is great. Like it, one of those take a pens. number things from the deli, if you just had that, those are cool. Those, those are, are cool. fun. If you're into numbers, yeah. they're super cool. Mm-hmm. Uh I had my best friend's dad had a truck and an old truck uh, that you'd push the button and the thing would come down and he rigged it. What would come down? Uh like the 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 gate of the glove box. Uh huh. And it would come down, and he would put a glass in there and hit a button, and fucking whiskey would come out. Oh, my God. This was, and he would drive, he would drink that on the way home from work. And exactly. you never died? <laughs> no. Four uh, dead in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm a Midwesterner as well. So. I remember I had the- Three uh, kids pasted across the road. <laughs> <laughs> One hung up in a tree. Okay. Oh, boy. Four dead in Ohio. All right. <laughs> Got to get <laughs> down <laughs> to it. Brown liquor and drinking it down. <laughs> Push a button, watch it go. Yeah, exactly. Jingle it wasn't the ice thing. Anyway, cubes. We were saying, <laughs> this is this glass is real crystal. Yeah, I'm tra- I'm transfixed by weird m- weird Michael Yankovic over here. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's actually you know what that's probably I hope a we compliment. S- I, uh, that's an incredible compliment. It's a fine compliment. Thank you. <laughs> You're yeah. welcome, Michael. Yeah, I love you. Weird Mike Yankovic. <laughs> Michael. Michael, what's your son's name? Gerard. Um, is he your only your only kin? My only, only my only offspring. And how old is he? Fourteen months next week. This week. Oh man, is he? Does he speak? Does he say words? He says, "Yeah." <laughs> That's. I have him. I have him on. Uh, I I not I not. Uh, uh, he has learned five animal sounds now. So there's dog. Classic, right? Mm-hmm. There's dragon. Mm-hmm. What's the dragon sound? <laughs> oh yeah, that's pretty good. That is. Uh, there's. I said dog already, right? You did. Okay. There's elephant. 
Oh, that's a good one. There's lion. Uh, lion well, similar to the dragon. Lion's almost almost. It's like a dead ring. <laughs> right? it's, like grew, it's actually like they grew up together uh, from from cub and whatever and hatchling. You know, because when they first, I'm glad yeah. you, dragons I'm glad hatch you from got eggs. specific yes, yes, with dragons. Eggs. Dragons hatch from eggs, right? Uh, Hatchlings. And uh, he does one other. Uh, he does one. Uh, he's got another animal in there somewhere. Yeah. <clears throat> No, he doesn't do zebra. I, I cat. Tried, I tried him with zebra and giraffe. No, he deer, doesn't do cat. Deer being attacked. He does not do cat. Oh, deer being attacked. That's really just deal. hoof hoof beats running away. They don't say anything. Well, there's some They're, video on, on YouTube of a bear eating a deer. And, and it's like, wah, get, leave me alone. It kind of is. I actually like that. It's, okay. it, it sort of makes a very human noise. like, ah, and it's just haunting. <laughs> uh, yeah. I can't remember his fifth animal. And then you saw bad. then you saw an Arby's commercial for Venice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. oh, I saw Damn a, you, YouTube. You've done it to me again. <laughs> I saw a video of a deer eating a baby bird. Really? Yes, deer will... Uh, Deer, deer are om- omnivores. They are not strictly herbivores. Oof, jeez. Hummus. Yeah. They dig hummus, though. Yeah. Now, Gerard is a, a, the favorite thing about that is he can only ever grow into his name because thinking of a little baby named Gerard. Go ahead. You know, it's it, it, Gerard is like a man's name. Sure. You know, uh, like, his mom calls him Getty. Oh, okay, yeah. See, there you go. That's that's a little boy's name. I like that's to call him diminutive. Jerry. He, yeah. Gerard Dan is calls Jerry. Him Jerry. Yeah, see that yeah. works too. We called him Dragon yeah. when he was young too. But yeah, Gerard, uh it actually means yeah, that's that's a name you got to grow into. It's like <laughs> Dennis Eckersley. Like, can you imagine <laughs> little baby Dennis Eckersley? This being, is Denny. This is Denny Eck. <laughs> like being held by his mom and someone's like, "Hey, what's your baby's name?" She's like, "Dennis Eckersley." He's in the 99th percentile for height. Dennis Eckersley? Well, when he was a baby. <laughs> oh, he's talking about my son. I Gerard, think. yeah, is he tall? Head circumference too was great. No, he's not that tall. Yeah, I don't think so. O- hopefully, he'll be taller than me, which would not be hard. But he's got a big head. Yeah, yeah, we compliment him all the time. Big head, smart boy. <laughs> oh, sure. sometimes it doesn't work out that way. Yeah, no offense. <laughs> yeah, hopefully that skips a generation. <laughs> you know what I mean? But after Gerard, you know what I love about this podcast is that we could start with uh, one baseball reference and sort of. Slide into the to another one with Eckersley. That's Jeremy, true. you're out of here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> tell him about your. Uh, tell him about your Pete Rose jersey. <sighs> Arthur, uh, we this was on the last episode, so uh, we're gonna hear it again. But basically, the idea is <laughs> we're talking about things that. I get, love that. Get hey, back Mike, from. Hey, can you explain? Tell a story that we've already told. The idea is I gave it to particularly the one right before this one. The sister of an ex. <laughs> And it was my favorite thing as a kid, a Pete Rose jersey, and uh. I gave it to this, and then we split up, and I didn't get it back. So that's the whole story, because uh, her little sister had worn it, and now it's who knows where. It's probably in the Salvation Army in Ohio. But do you do you ever want to get that jersey back? Yeah, think about it. But I, I'm not going to uh, contact them about it. It's called it. regrets. And but he yeah. won't even he won't even go on to Facebook and look for the person. If you, the listener, would like to <laughs> visit us at DannyMike.com. Is it um, is it Phillies or Reds? Reds. Oh no. No, I was done with him in the Phillies. So oh, yeah. for sure. Over, over. And then he coached. And yeah. How could you disgrace really yourself more coaching. than just play for Philadelphia, I guess? Wow. Well, we just lost Philly again. Yeah. Yeah. Again. We yeah, we've just gotten we, them back. Yeah, we, we had we, just gotten we them win back. Them over, we we got to regain them over, the market. And then we a, knock them a down. 90 day cooling off period. We bring them back expired. up again. Oh, boy. Uh, well, let's make sure to say some nice things about Darren Dalton next week. Mike Mike Schmidt and the mustache that could. Yeah. A lot of good mustache talk this episode. I will say that. Yeah. Jim Twos. Yeah. John Cruck. Yeah. Yep. Raleigh. Mm-hmm. Uncle Raleigh. Fangers. By the way, Raleigh Fingers is my uncle. Uh, my uncle. No, he's not. Um, <laughs> Arthur, what kind of uh, what kind of uh, plugs do you got? What you do you? Got, you must have some kind of plugs. Um, well, I uh, I mean, all I'm really doing at the moment is is working at the Tonight Show. That keeps you busy, though. It does. Yeah, I'm yeah. writing. I'm on there sometimes. I do. Uh, uh, I, I I did a book with my friends with Mario Batali. I wrote the uh, foreword of it. It was called Fuds. Um, oh. that, that's still available. Is that with in one D or two oh, Ds? That's with God. one D. So are we in trouble? No. no oh no no yeah. What I, does that stand for? Um, it just sounds like the word foods, but it doesn't it doesn't stand for anything. Oh, it's like Swedish. Mm-hmm. Well, it's, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's it, d- it does sound vaguely Fuds. Scandinavian. I, I thought it was like Chuds, like it was an acronym for something. No, it doesn't stand for anything. We could make up something. That's true. The U will be the hardest part. Underground. You nailed it. 
Michael nailed it. <laughs> so and Arthur must have some plugs. Uh, you can make some up for him. No, no, no. And then what's your Twitter and all the? All oh, the good and stuff? then yeah, Arthur Meyer thirteen. There's that. Get some great uh, content up there. You should all go right now. Stop what you're doing. Well, <laughs> finish the podcast and then, and then go. But yeah. Finish your drive or commute or laundry. In- incredible characters on, on The Tonight Show. You should check those out, too. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Jeremy, fan. you're a very sweet man. Big He's pretty sweet. Stop he licking is. Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you cease. Rarely look. does this happen. Does the guest side with me? It's usually either Danny or Mike, or Danny oh. and Mike. Never Sound. me. So I'm very. This is a great. This is a good moment. Like well, when the found... guest didn't have cable growing up, it's easy to side with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna toss good it point. to you now, <laughs> Jeremy. I'm gonna throw this one to you now, Jeremy. Over to you. Right. Over to you. Well, Arthur, thank you, man. Thank Thanks. you, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Much. I appreciate it. Thank you, you for exposing this horrible fault line in our relationship <laughs> regarding <laughs> regarding invertebrates. Brits. Thank you. I'm at Remy Balin. I have another podcast called Fresh Beef. This is at D Tambrelli. That's Eichel. Eichel? At Michael C. Marona. Eichel, Eichel, Andy. Arthur, thank you so much. My producer said to your producer. (laughs) (laughs) The Adventures of Danny and Mike stars Danny Tamborelli and Michael C. Marona. The show is produced by Jeremy Balin. For more information on the guys, visit our website at dannyandmike.com. Also, look us up on Twitter, at Danny and Mike, with the N spelled out, and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the adventures of Danny and Mike. Thanks for listening. <laughs>